Yesterday evening, a significant eruption occurred from the Hunga Tonga Hunga Ha'apai underwater volcano, located about 30 kilometres southeast of Fonua Fo'au Island in Tonga. As yet, there are no official reports of injuries or deaths in Tonga. In addition, all High Commission staff are safe and well, as are NZDF and police staff stationed in Tonga. There are currently 30 New Zealanders registered on safe travel as being in Tonga, but obviously the number of family and friends with New Zealand connections will be significantly higher. Communication with Tonga remains very limited, and I know that is causing a huge amount of anxiety for the Tongan community here who are trying to get hold of loved ones back home. Official damage assessments are not yet available. However, our High Commission in Tonga advised the tsunami has had a significant impact on the foreshore on the northern side of Nuku Alofa, with boats and large boulders washed ashore. Shops along the coast have been damaged and a significant clean-up will be needed. Nuku Alofa is covered in thick film of volcanic dust, but otherwise conditions are calm and stable. Power has been restored to some of Nuku Alofa, and local mobile phones, we're advised, are working. However, I would note that we've not yet received news from other coastal areas of Tongatapu or the Outer Islands yet. In keeping with local advice, if you or a loved one are in the affected area, follow the advice of the local authorities, including any tsunami evacuation orders. Please also keep family back in New Zealand informed of your well-being if you can. We also recommend that you stay informed of developments by monitoring local media. Although there is currently no ongoing large eruption, further activity cannot be ruled out at this stage. The Tonga Met Office has confirmed that ash has stopped falling in Nukualofa. The Government of Tonga has accepted an initial offer of assistance from New Zealand of an NZDF surveillance flight. A New Zealand Defence Force P3 Orion is ready to deploy tomorrow morning, subject to conditions including ash fall. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs and NZDF and other New Zealand agencies are working through further air and sea options to get aid to Tonga. The government has also approved an initial half a million dollars to be able to respond to requests for assistance from Tongan authorities. This would include costs of relief supplies and technical support, as well as supporting local responses. Please let me be very clear, this is very much a starting figure and the government will provide additional assistance as required. I've been in contact with Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison today, and New Zealand and Australia stand at the ready to assist our Pacific neighbours. And as I've just advised, we have the aircraft ready to deploy, and in tandem are also looking at the deployment of a Navy vessel, should it be required, with additional provisions. For many of us, and particularly because we haven't seen uh, this kind of level of volcanic activity for a number of, of years, and being able to see those satellite images, I just think brought home to everybody uh, just the, the scale and the violence of that eruption. Uh, and so then it, knowing the proximity of Tonga to that eruption, but also the fact that it was heard so widely in the region, I think immediately caused everyone to be very, con very concerned um, for friends and family, and that is why, of course, everyone is working as quickly as they can. The Pacific and Tonga are part of our whānau, mm. and so it's, there's been overwhelming concern from the diaspora here, as well as our many genealogical links and families. And my message has been last night just to be patient and remain calm. Mm. It's just too early. You've got to allow the government officials to do the work that they've got to be able to do to identify how extensive the harm is and for our officials here to be able to determine. Water, absolutely. Uh, Pacific peoples, you know, we're a resilient group of people, but we've also experienced tsunamis, hurricane storms, and so we know what's needed at the very uh, beginning, but I have asked people just to be patient.